everybody, welcome back to another exciting edition of a We Can Geek Them, another haul video for the shortest month of the year. Let's get things started with some manga goodness. First one on the list here is To Your Eternity Volume 16. Now I have to admit I have not kept up with this series after finishing the previous arc, so I am three volumes behind on this series, but nonetheless, fantastic, great art, wonderful characters, definitely one of my favorite ongoing manga. Battle Angel Alita Volume 4. Now I've started reading this and I am really, really in love with the art and the story and the characters. Just an all around great sci-fi cyberpunk manga. And I caved. I said I wasn't going to do it, but here we are. This is the Seven Deadly Sins omnibus containing the first three volumes of the series. I think it will be a total of 14 or maybe 13 volumes to complete the set in this format, but I am digging it. Uh, the anime for some reason never really appealed to me, although the character designs for the manga always did, so I'm really excited to dig into this. It looks great, and I really prefer this format. Obviously, it's not really a true omnibus-sized edition compared to Western comics, but you get the idea. It's solid enough, and it's not a hindrance to the spine, and it lays down flat pretty well. Overall, just a great edition in my opinion. Here's some lewdness for you with Interspecies Reviewers of Volume 6, and, and I'm trying in this haul not to show anything that would get me demonetized. But you get a good feel for the spine and the covers and all that fun stuff. Succubus and Hitman Volume 1. I recently did a first impressions on the manga and this very volume if you want to check it out on this channel. Really fun series, although do be aware it is super heavy on the not safe for work uh, area of things. I really enjoyed the revenge-esque action film plot to it, as well as the dark and gritty uh, visuals and character designs. Also did a first impressions on Frieden Beyond Journey's End. Here is volume 2, a fantastic series. Whimsical, fantastical, yet quiet, serene, and introspective. The art is fantastic with great character designs. Uh, do check it out. Record of Ragnarok Volume 1. Finally, I've been waiting for a long time to own this. I, I read some of it online before getting this volume and stopped because I wanted to uh, support this release. And hell freaking yes, I love the art on this. It's phenomenal. And the story is so bombastic, it's silly and fun. You can't help but want to read more as soon as you pick up a volume. So, so hurry up, Viz. I need Volume 2. Beastars Volume 16, 16 being my favorite number, no particular reason why, I just really like that number, <laughs> that has nothing to do with this all video, but uh, useless information for you to know. The Beastars is great, I don't want to ruin it if uh, you're going in blind, because uh, this has some heavy spoilers, but the story continues to be awesome. Uh, number 5 from Taiyo Matsumoto Volume 3, another fantastic series, one more book to go, and I promise I'll give you guys a full series review of this gem from Matsumoto. Fist of the North Star Volume 3, fantastic machismo, I mean look at that spread page, how, how freaking badass is that? If, if that doesn't ooze 80s <laughs> ultra hyper violent action iconography i don't know what does this series was so influential and at the same time so over the top i can't help but love it continuing two series that i started getting this year here is i am a hero we got omnibus volume four five and six now i'm just showing off random uh pages from the manga because i haven't started reading this thing uh, but it looks really interesting. I love zombies and creature horror. That's my type of scary books and movies to read and watch, respectively. So I am all up for this. And of course, here is volume 7 and 8. Now it's going to be a long wait before I'm able to track down a, a decently priced copy of 9, 10, and the final volume, uh, volume 11. One of my all-time favorite properties were the Vampire Hunter D movies. And I've never read the original source material. So I'm really excited that Dark Horse put out these omnibus editions of Vampire Hunter D. Here we have the first one, which contains the first three of the novels with illustrations inside, of course. Finally, something that I've been dying to get for the collection 
Last year I showed in my hauls the different uh, Gegege no Kitaro books that I've been getting, uh, courtesy of Drawn and Quarterly. Hopefully they do release more of Shigeru Mizuki's illustrious career, or bibliography if you will. But I was missing this. This was the first release that they did, I think a couple years back, uh, just labeled Kitaro. And I was missing this. It's out of print and not necessarily hard to find. It's just I don't have any bookstores near me, so all the manga purchases have to be online. But I finally tracked it down. It looks brand new. Pages are a little bit yellow, but that's okay. I don't mind that much. But now I can finally start uh, devouring all these books and doing a proper video for you guys on Kitaro. Really excited about that. Here is Gantz Omnibus Volume 8. This is the first time that I'm reading this series, so I am really excited to dig through Volume 8. It's a shame that we're going to have to wait even longer for uh, Volume 9, but uh, the story's so great and, and awesome and bombastic that I don't mind. I, I'm, I'm happy to wait. And uh, the way Volume 7 ended, whew, what a cliffhanger. Can't wait to uh, continue the story. From Shonen Jump Magazine and Viz Media, here is Dr. Stone Volume 20. I can't believe we have 20 volumes of Dr. Stone. And I think I read that it's ending soon as of this video. I might be mistaken on that. It's a little bittersweet because I have very, very fond memories of starting Dr. Stone. And it's one of those series where you want it to continue alongside you. But at the same time, you also want it to end to get a proper ending, to get the whole thing collected. So it's very conflicting. I don't know if I'm the only one feeling like that when it comes to a long-running manga. Uh, let me know in the comment section. From Shuzo Shimi, I've been getting uh, happiness. Last time I showed you the first three volumes. Here is volume four and volume five, along with uh, volume seven nine and ten i did get volume eight but it did not arrive in time for the making of this haul video so uh, the only volume i'm missing when it comes to happiness will be volume six everything else is here that's great now this is pretty funny deserter came out in december 2021 and i completely forgot about it until recently when i saw it on another haul video a random haul video and I thought, why don't I have that? Turns out I didn't order it. So here it is, <laughs> Deserter uh, from Junji Ito. Another series that I am uh, catching up on is Dead Dead Demons Dead Dead Dead, Dead Destruction from Inio Asano. This will end with volume 12, if I'm not mistaken, so I'm pretty excited about that. And a brand new series. I canceled some things that I had pre-ordered and I wanted to get something uh, more to my style. Uh, I've been reading less and less uh, Shonen Jump magazine material and I've just been branching out to random corners of the uh, manga world and I kind of prefer uh, all the, you know, all the uh, yokai themed and supernatural stuff when it comes to anime and manga recently. Here is a terrified teacher uh, at Ghoul's School, the first three volumes. Uh, this looks pretty fun. You might get some assassination classroom vibes, <laughs> but in reality is about this teacher going into this ghoul school with uh, demons and yokai and all that fun stuff. I like the art. It's simple. It's nice. Gets to the point and it's pretty funny. So here are the first three volumes looking uh, really cool. I'm a huge fan of anime. So yeah, I'm going to include it here on this haul video. Uh, here is Josie the Tiger and the Fish, a fantastic, beautiful film, greatly drawn, wonderful art characters are great uh the the story uh it took just a little tiny bit for me to get into but i was enamored by it and i thought it ended really well if you're in the mood for a different sort of romantic movie and of course i do appreciate that it has a different artwork inside that's so rare from funimation and speaking of funimation here's the digital code if you want to redeem it let me know so i can heart that comment down below Attack on Titan Final Season Part 1, everybody knows about this, it's it's no surprise, it's no niche title <laughs> by any means. A wonderful adaptation of the manga, I really enjoy the series a lot. I kind of like the series a lot more than the manga. I did read the whole thing, 
I don't own it or anything, but at the end of the day, I for this one, I do prefer the show more than the original uh, manga volumes. But this looks really awesome. MAPPA, I think, did a good job of taking over from Wit Studios and adapting the final arc and the climactic portion of Attack on Titan. Here is the digital code. If you want to take that, uh, redeem it, let me know in the comment section if you got it. Next up is one of the cutest series. This was just a breath of fresh air and super funny and adorable at the same time. Sleepy Princess in the Demon Castle, the full series on Blu-ray, or I should say the complete season, because we don't know if we're going to get a season two, but uh, I thought it ended pretty well. Anyways, here's the digital code. If you want to redeem it, let me know in the comment section if you did. And last but not least, I have a question for you. Do you mind me adding uh, video games in a manga slash anime haul? I know they're not related, but in this case, they kind of are. Danganronpa, of course, but, uh, you know, very famous Japanese game, and it has an anime and a manga, light novel, merchandise, all that fun stuff. So I think it qualifies. Same with this next one. Dragon's Crown Pro from Atlas. This is the Battle Hardened Edition. So yeah, do you mind when people doing haul videos include other things that aren't uh, related to the main title of the video? Let me know in the comment section. So that's about it, gang. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for supporting this channel, liking, commenting, subscribing, all that fun stuff. If you want me to review a specific product shown here, leave those comments down below and I'll get to work on that as soon as humanly possible. That's it. I gotta go. Thank you everybody for tuning in. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.